Hi student, I am Pramit Sebastian Paul. In this tutorial, we are learning about max term. So before going to max term, let us refresh the term literal. A Boolean variable and its complements are called literals. For example, the Boolean variable A and the complement of A or negation of A is known as literals. So now let us consider the max term. Max term is a sum of all the literals with or without complement. So in the previous lecture we had discussed min term. So min term is the product of all the literals while max term is the sum of all the literals with or without complement. For example if we have two boolean variables x and y then x plus y or x plus negation y is a max term. We can express the complement negation y as x dash so the above max term can be represented as x plus y dash or y complement so if we have two variables then the max term will consist of sum of both the variables so now let us consider the max term from different values so we can create max term from the given values of the variables if the value is one then we take the complement of the variable and if the value is 0 then we are taking the variable as is so this rule is just opposite to the min term rule so in min term if the value is 1 then we are taking the variable itself and and if the value is 0 we are taking the complement of the variable but in the term max term if the value is 1 then we can take the complement of the variable and if the value is 0 we are taking the variable as is so for example if x y and z are the three boolean variables having the values x is equal to 0 y equals 1 and z equal to 0 then max term will be x plus y complement plus z here y is 1 so its complement is taken and x and z are 0 so they are taken as is let us check another example if x and y are two boolean variable having the values x equal to 1 y equal to 0 then max term representation will be x complement plus y so now let us consider the shorthand notation for max term if there are two variables x and y then both of them will appear in the sum of the formation of max term the following are the steps or rules to get the shorthand notation of max term the four different rules or set of laws are first of all write the term consisting of all the variables secondly replace all complement variables like negation x or x complement or x dash with one and replace all non complement variable like x or y with zero and express the decimal equivalence of the binary formed in the above step and the decimal number is then written as a subscript of the letter capital M where capital M denotes the max term so previously in the lecture we had discussed the min term in the min term representation we are using the small letter or lowercase letter M while for the max term representation we are using capital M to denote max terms so let us consider three variables x y and z the different formations of x y z are 0 0 0 0 0 1 etc up to 1 1 1 so if we are considering 0 0 0 the max term representation will be x plus y plus z since the values of x y and z are 0 we are taking the values of the variable as itself so 0 0 0 representation of so the variable representation 0 0 0 in max term representation is x plus y plus z or which is equivalent to capital m suffix 0 or m 0 for 0 0 1 we are representing it as x plus y plus z complement or z dash or m 1 0 1 0 can be represented as x plus y complement plus z or m 2 0 1 1 is representing as x plus y complement plus z complement or em3 1 0 0 is representing as x complement plus y plus z or em4 1 0 1 is representing it as 
x complement plus y plus z complement or em5 110 is representing it as x complement plus y complement plus z or em6 and finally 111 is representing as x complement plus y complement plus z complement or em7 so my dear student let us see some examples first of all find the shorthand notation of the max term x complement plus y so our rule states that write the terms consisting of all variables of x complement plus y secondly replace the complement variable with one so x complement is replaced by one and thirdly replace all non complement variables with a zero so y is replaced by zero and finally x plus the decimal equivalent of the binary formed in the above steps so x complement plus y is equivalent to 1 0 in binary so the decimal equivalent of the binary number 1 0 is 2 so the shorthand notation of x complement plus y is m2 so let us check another example our second example is find the shorthand notation of the max term a complement plus b complement plus c so firstly write the term consisting of all the variables a complement plus b complement plus c secondly replace all complement variable with one so a complement and b complement are replaced by one thirdly replace all non-complement variable with a zero so c is replaced by zero and finally express the decimal equivalent of the binary formed in the above step so a complement plus b complement plus c is equivalent to one one zero in binary that is the decimal equivalent of one one zero is six therefore the shorthand notation of a complement plus b complement plus c is m 6 capital M and 6 so the different points to remember for shorthand notations for max term representation are replace all complement variables like negation of x complement of x x dash or x bar with 1 and replace all non complement variables like x or y with a 0 and the capital letter M denote the max term so my dear student, hope you had understood this topic. In the last two set of topics, we had discussed the min term and max term as well as literals. So literals are just variable and its complement. Min term is the product of all the literals and max term is the sum of all literals. So my dear students, hope you had understood this. So dear students, kindly go through the assignment questions. The first question is define literal second question is define max term third question is how we can write a max term from values fourth question is write the steps to get the shorthand notation of max term and fifth question is write the max term representation of the variables x y and z that is a table representation of x y and z so my dear students in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the canonical representation and especially the ESOP representation. So see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.